Hello, Alexers. While most businesses will be negatively affected by the coronavirus, there are a few that will thrive because of it. Businesses bringing necessary relief to patients and hospitals are in high demand, as well as products and services that serve the general public while in lockdown are seeing a major upswing. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Now, while many people are losing work, there are parts of the economy that are giving us a glimmer of hope in these trying times. Today, we're focusing on those. Let's get started. Number 1. Masks and Medical Supplies The global demand for items like disposable gloves, ventilators, and face masks is unprecedented. Public panic buying and stockpiling gloves, face masks, and medical alcohol cleaners has led to shortages. Manufacture and supply chains are working around the clock to keep up with demand, but they are still not able to. So for the industry of medical supplies, business is good, but the result of shortages could prove to be devastating if they aren't able to quicken the pace. And Aluxers, stick around to see how an ingenious Italian has found a way to repurpose sports gear for use in hospitals. Number 2. Cleaning Services Cleaning services have seen an unexpected upturn in sales as they battle to keep up with the demand for public places requiring sanitizing services. Commercial buildings and medical facilities are the largest part of the market as they increase the frequency of their cleaning regimen. They are also requesting harsher germ-killing chemicals to be used to counteract the spread of the coronavirus. This is an area where staff recruitment is still strong and looks set to remain stable for some time as standards will remain high even after the wake of this virus. Number 3. Drones before this point, drone delivery seemed more like a novelty than a reality. But since the corona epidemic took hold, drones are being employed in many roles. China used drones in a novel way to halt the spread of the disease and reduce putting cleaners at risk. Drones were employed to sanitize public spaces by spraying disinfectants. China, South Korea, and Spain have also used drones to police members of the public leaving their homes during the enforced lockdown period. In Xinjiang province in China during the peak of the epidemic in February, drones were used to fly medical samples and quarantine materials into the region. It allowed fast feedback and protected people from spreading the virus to delivery staff. Number 4. Grocery Store Liquor Who would have thought the world would turn to grocery stores for their next drink? However, even during partial shutdowns, governments have closed public gathering spaces such as bars and restaurants. Many countries have closed all non-essential retailers and in some cases, liquor stores fall into this category. That leaves only one option, to pursue the limited section in the alcohol aisle of your local supermarket, if you have one. Suddenly dusting off a bottle of bargain Bin Merlot seems a lot more appealing than before, and retailers are struggling to keep up with demand. In South Africa, when the lockdown was announced, the usual canned goods and toilet paper went first. Then the lineups wound out the local liquor store shops as the public began stocking up before the 21-day compulsory stay-at-home period began. Number 5. Drive-In Movie Theaters In countries lucky enough to not be in a complete lockdown, there is still a level of freedom to be out and about. However, there aren't many people opting for cramped public spaces right now. So instead of traditional movie theaters, the old-time drive-in is seeing a comeback. It's much safer and is a great way to get the family out of the house, keep your distance from others, and still control the environment you come into contact with. The positive experience of revisiting this classic pastime will surely reignite an interest in this business even after Corona. Number 6. Shopping Delivery Services Social distancing, whether enforced by government or not, has corralled the last few stragglers who hadn't signed on for online shopping. E-commerce has been on a solid trajectory for some years now, but the immediate need has caused a complete reliance on delivered groceries and essentials. States like New York and California in the USA declared a complete shutdown first. This caused an immediate spike in an already stretched delivery service, prompting companies like Amazon to open its doors to 100,000 new employees. Number 7. Board Game and Puzzle Makers Board games probably haven't seen a popularity boom like this since the home computer was introduced. There's only so much screen time you can endure during isolation, and families are returning to the charm of the board game or finding solace around a puzzle. 
Apart from the expected family favorites like Clue, Monopoly, and Trivial Pursuit, a new board game is capturing the market's attention. Pandemic the Board Game was originally released in 2008, but couldn't be more aptly named right now for a resurgence in popularity. It was widely regarded as the most successful cooperative game to have reached the mainstream market. It's just a small example that the coronavirus isn't all doom and gloom and dungeons and dragons. Number 8. Fitness Equipment Companies Gyms are closed in most of the world, but that is leading the way for home fitness markets to have the type of resurgence they experienced when home shopping took off. If we're all going to be confined to our homes, there's no need to let ourselves go, and recent sales trends are confirming we plan to stay in shape. The number one selling fitness product in the US right now is yoga mats, but many tech startups are firing up sales of their internet-connected fitness equipment so that users can still feel connected to a greater community. Live and recorded instructions from experts that link to proprietary equipment turn your home into an interactive gym, and while we scramble to stay on top of fitness despite being homebound, sales in this sector are skyrocketing. Number 9. Video Conferencing and Document Handling Many companies have rapidly adopted to work from home as shutdowns are imminent or already implemented. This opens up a huge demand for services to connect work teams to each other. There's also been a sudden uptake in signups for online conferencing, work groups and collaboration sites that help host business operations remotely. Another requirement for working from home is remote document signing, scanning and secure sending. This is prompting software signups as staff are away from office printers that would ordinarily conduct this type of work. Number 10. Online Gambling and Personal Adult Entertainment One way social distancing can feel slightly less isolating is online gambling. Here, you can interact in real time with other gamers as you work together or play against each other. The subscriptions to join can be quite high, and then adding features also costs more, so revenue is currently streaming into the industry. Another business booming amid social isolation is the personal adult entertainment industry. We don't need to unpack this one here, you know what we're talking about, and that industry is booming. But if you'd like to learn some more about the industry, be sure to check out our other video on the topic, How Fabian Tolman Gave the World Free Porn by clicking in the top right corner. Number 11. Toilet Paper, Soap Sales, and Hand Sanitizer In a rush attempt to, well, we're not exactly sure, panic buying has led to a huge demand for toilet paper. Although the coronavirus only affects the respiratory system, people are stocking up on TP like we're living in the time of cholera, not corona. Soap sales have also hit an all-time high. It takes quite a while to get through a bar of soap at your hand basin. Either people are stockpiling soap for their lifetime, or they aren't sure how long a bar of soap lasts. Which poses the question, what were you doing before to clean your hands? Hand sanitizer is probably the most in-demand product right now, on par with face masks. And hand sanitizer is great, but if you're preparing for a lockdown, it isn't really that necessary, because its main use is for highly sterile environments like hospitals, and to use on the run when you can't access soap and water to do a proper hand washing. So stockpiling this yourself is actually causing a disaster for healthcare services, where they aren't able to get enough stock in hospitals and clinics. This is also where the dire threat exists for contracting and passing corona, so please consider this before hoarding supplies. Number 12. Remote Doctor Services As the virus tends to be spread mostly before a patient realizes they're infected, there is a call for strict social distancing. Also, immunocompromised people need to reduce any exposure to the public at all costs. For these reasons and many more, there's a massive demand for remote doctor consultations. Online services offering this are inundated with patients, with new members signing up daily. But the plus side is, physicians can practice from home, which keeps them safe from infections too. Number 13. Telecommunications The lockdown means we can't share important moments, go for coffee with a friend to catch up or have a family gathering. This means, more than ever, we're relying on our phones to keep close to our family and friends. Social distancing doesn't necessarily mean isolation, but it does mean a lot more remote contact, like FaceTime and calls. People are resurrecting their Skype accounts to have group gatherings that way. Even real phone calls are being made. It's a crazy time to be alive. 
All of this means big business for internet and voice service providers. Less time at the office means more time to watch YouTube, share memes, and scroll Instagram. The knock-on effect is the data usage increases. In most countries, data is charged per megabyte or per gigabyte, so this means a major payday for data providers. Number 14. Bookings for Space Travel to Mars an industry in its infancy but making large promises about imminent breakthroughs is space travel. Business greats like Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and Richard Branson are all vying for a piece of the pie in the sky. We can only imagine the inquiries flooding into the sales inbox at this point in time as getting off planet Earth seems like the only way to escape being infected by the deadly coronavirus. This might be more of a prediction than a hard fact, but here at Alux, we like to be ahead of the curve. If you're looking to invest in future markets, perhaps it's time to get in there before further panic sets in as space travel seems to be a pretty good bet given the current circumstances. Number 15. Streaming Video and Live Video Hosting Sites Globally, we already had an insatiable appetite for content. Producers can barely keep up, leading to revivals of retro content like the series Friends or Golden Girls, where you can binge watch seasons for days. The main players in video on demand like Amazon, YouTube, Hulu, or Netflix work on monthly subscriptions. During social distancing, subscriptions are on the rise. Users are forced to platform hop from one provider to the other as they exhaust the extensive archives of content at an alarming rate. Content producers should spend their time in isolation writing the next series as there's no doubt that production will boom when lockdowns are lifted. We're all going to need something new to watch. Well, Aluxers, that's a wrap for today. What is the most essential service you are using to get through this time? How is Corona affecting your access to services that you need, and how are you getting around it? Let us know in the comments. And for sticking with us until the end, here's that bonus you so deserve. Italy is one of the hardest hit countries in terms of being unprepared for the rapid spread of the coronavirus. It has led to major shortages of hospital equipment required to tackle the deadly respiratory infection that requires ventilators in advanced cases. An Italian tech startup tackled the ventilator shortage head-on by working out a way to adapt scuba masks to become oxygen therapy devices. By 3D printing an adapter valve part, this recreational scuba equipment can become a life-saving device that can be used with industry-grade oxygen connectors. All the scuba masks of this full-face variety were called from a local sporting goods store and adapted. They are already being used in 10 hospitals in Italy. It goes to show that to combat this epidemic, we can't only consider traditional medical solutions. Even a recreational item could help save lives. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.